in the UK will actually change their analog clocks to digital because apparently the students can't read them anymore. <laughs> Oh, no, it's awesome. They are saying that pupils sitting for their GCSE and A-level exams complained that they were struggling to read the correct time on an analog clock, and they just said, like, they're not learning that anymore, they're struggling, it's taking more time, they struggled with the test, so they want to change it to digital. I'm going to take a strong stance here, and I think I might be alone, that I don't care. If, if it's easier for, why do you have to tell time on an analog clock? Why do people, if everything else is digital, if my watch and my phone and my computer is all digital, why should I learn how to read an analog I'll clock? tell you why. The same reason I should learn how to do cursive <laughs> and spell check. I mean, come on, keep has, up. Well, there's something specific about this one, which is like, has no one ever seen the, the pilot for Battlestar Galactica? This is how the robot overlords come and get us, <laughs> because we digitize absolutely everything, don't know how to do anything in analog format anymore, and then boom, robot overlords. Lords. Here they come. Obviously. Yeah, and that's the thing. <laughs> Hannah, I feel you. It makes sense. Who cares? On the other hand, if they can't read it, why don't we just take five minutes out of the day and show them how, instead of lowering the bar and making us go straight to, down the idiocracy but toilet? Why, I mean, why, why not spend that time? I mean, I remember learning the analog clock. It, it takes time. It takes time in the class. Why not take that time on fractions or learning how to balance a checkbook or treating each other with respect and having empathy? I'd rather the school time be treated be spent that way they, than learning how to... They're, no, they're never going to write a check. That's <laughs> all I'm done. I, I, love, I love how split we are on this <laughs> because I'm in the middle. Uh, on the one hand, you I'm are? Like, I am. I'm surprised I am. by that. So, on the one hand, uh, yeah, we don't use an abacus anymore either. Yeah, well, no, we so what, system. right? That's true. So, digital is probably easier. Fine, let's go to digital. On the other hand, come on. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> and so, it, later in the article, it's even worse in the Telegraph. There's some it, people are saying that children are increasingly finding it hard to hold pens. <laughs> And That's pencils. Okay. We were talking Gina about that before. And I were talking about this. I hold we a pencil like, wrong. We were like in the green room. I hold a pencil wrong. I, I hold do. it like you're making a. No, like a I hold dull. it like this, but she I does. hold it wrong. It's a little weird. I don't. I mean, but but that's the thing is like I use a pencil here and here and then, but like to be honest. I, I, I actually noticed more, that because and you're going to be more advanced in society if you can use a computer better and you're more apt that way and you don't have to use your digits this way. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Depends, everybody. <laughs> Depends. Okay. You got it. No, no. Cheers. I draw the, uh, Cheers. Cheers. Hannah, Hannah. I, Depends I might, and old school clocks. I might be with you on the analog versus digital. You lose me at the pens. <laughs> you got to be able to hold a pen. You got to be able to do that. <laughs> anyway, and then uh, maybe even the best part of the story, and that's because I'm a child, is that the head of the, the one of the schools that's uh, making the change is called Cucker Mouse School. <laughs> you are a child. Could it go, I could go any other way? Confirmed, you are a child. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.